Well, good morning, everybody. Today is a great day for Queensland. It's a great day for the safety of all Queenslanders, particularly in southeast Queensland, the greater Brisbane metropolitan area. All 1.4 million people will feel a lot safer and a lot more secure. The 1.8 million people who live in the greater south uh, East Queensland will certainly be a lot safer in their communities and in their street knowing now that we have uh, a new police helicopter covering South East Queensland. This is all part of uh, obviously a strong plan for a, for a brighter future for policing right across Queensland ensuring that we protect families and protect communities. We also made a uh, commitment at the last election for two brand new helicopters and I'd like to say thank you to Queensland Surf Life Saving for uh, their partnership uh, here today. It wouldn't have been achieved without uh, the QPS and the Surf Life Saving working in together. I'd just like to also acknowledge Gavin Bird and, uh, and obviously Corey Metz, as well as the uh, Commissioner for Police here, and uh, John Brennan and George Hill uh, is here also with us. I see George around here somewhere, over here. And uh, it is uh, as well as the local member, Mark, who's uh, here to see what is a very important day. At the last election we made a commitment, obviously $18 billion over four years to uh, obviously deliver two brand new police helicopters. And obviously this Queensland police helicopter is part of having a new helicopter with the latest technology, with a Top Gun crew, keeping the lives of Queenslanders, families and communities safer like never before. Obviously, the Pole Air 1 has uh, obviously been tasked to over 5,000 missions so far today, and I'm sure that this helicopter will certainly deliver on that commitment of even keeping our communities even safer. The type of operations range from everything. Sorry. The type of operations will range from everything from uh, obviously uh, from drug detection to uh, traffic offences uh, right across the board from gathering information and intelligence for both uh, major and serious crimes right across South East. So uh, again, this uh, helicopter will be a great asset for the community, keeping uh, the greater South Brisbane <coughs> safer and ensuring that our streets are even safer in the future. I'd just also uh, like to uh, ensure that uh, and say thank you to, uh, to Peter Bird, the pilot, and the crew who uh, certainly will be tasked to ensuring that our skies are safer but also those communities are safer. So in just in closing, I'd just like to say that this new helicopter is sorry, this new helicopter has the latest technology with a top gun crew that'll keep Queenslanders safer in their communities and on their streets. And it's a great credit to everybody involved. Commissioner, if you'd like to say a few words. No, thanks, Minister. And if I can just acknowledge you, and in particular, local member Mark Stewart, um, and to thank you very, very much on behalf of all of my colleagues in the Queensland Police for giving us such a, a wonderful platform. Uh, the success of Polair 1 down the Gold Coast has resulted in the government's commitment to this second helicopter, and we're really, really grateful that we now have two helicopters protecting the greater southeast. And I'm hopeful that maybe I'll be able to twist the government's arm into the future and get a few more across the state. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge uh, Surf Life Saving Queensland in particular for the wonderful partnership we have in operating these aircraft. I think the synergies between our two organisations, saving lives and keeping the community safe, uh, makes it a very, very good partnership and one which I hope will continue for many years to come. I'd also like to acknowledge the uh, Archerfield Airport Corporation for the wonderful work that they've done in uh, allowing us to be here um, and we think that uh, you know this this partnership as well will be something that uh, will really advantage us uh, bearing in mind that it provides us with the perfect location for the entire greater uh, Brisbane area uh, for this for this type of operation uh, the aircraft uh, has been staffed by members of our PSRT and will rotate and train many of our people uh, to use the aircraft in a, in a way which will obviously be good for all of the community not, and as the Minister quite rightly said it plays a, a range of roles in identifying and helping to suppress crime in our community. Uh, I'd like to thank the media in particular for being here today on this cool morning 
um, uh, but it's wonderful that you cover this milestone, and it really is a milestone for not just the Queensland Police Service and not just the government, but the entire community uh, of Queensland. So thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Good. So just open any questions at all. You're right. Very good. Nice, cool morning. Total cost. Well, we, uh, the last election, we said that we'd deliver uh, two brand new helicopters uh, for the South East, and it's an $18 million commitment over four years, and we've delivered it uh, in less than two and a half years, and uh, that's great credit to the Queensland Police Service and to Surf Life Saving. Mr. Will this helicopter get more flying hours than the one Look, so yeah. Look, uh, obviously the, uh, the first uh, Polair 1 uh, completed over 5,000 tasks. This uh, particular uh, Polair 2 uh, will meet the needs for whatever the, uh, the Queensland Police Service directs it to. And uh, its limitations are not going to be restricted. And uh, we're going to ensure by having two new police helicopters in the skies, the communities uh, will be safer, but also our streets will be safer as well. Because one of the other capacities as well as uh, doing out and doing reactive and proactive policing, is collecting data for major operations as well. So criminals simply will not know where police are, and the police will be watching you at any time. Uh, we made an $18 million commitment and uh, obviously uh, we're delivering on those commitments and uh, as you just heard, the Commissioner is uh, he's more than happy to put up whatever proposals. We've made sure that we're revitalising frontline services and making sure a police and the community have the latest technology to keep Queensland even safer. We're seeing crime rates go down right across the whole estate. And it's not just the work that the police do, it's the work that the community does is engaging and assisting police. And we all know that uh, certainly uh, by having this technology in the skies, it'll certainly make Queensland an even safer place to live and raise a family. Look, uh, obviously I can get the exact details for you, but uh, we've made the commitment to ensure that we have two permanent helicopters in the sky. Look, uh, no doubt uh, these two helicopters, uh, as well as uh, other uh, aviation units across the, the government air wing, as well as both on a, a federal level as well, will be working conjointly in task throughout not just the G20, but other operations that occur right throughout the state. Does Polar 2 have the same technology as Polar 1 in regards to the Polar Look, that's correct. It has the latest technology. I know the, uh, the, the, uh, the media crews have a, a lot of great technology as well, but this technology certainly gives the capacity for a vendor you know, that can be over two and a half kilometres away, not even knowing that he's been uh, obviously being followed by police. And what that does is it increases the safety of the community and the police in their operations because they can gain that information, they can resolve things in a, uh, in a lot more uh, less forceful way. Look, uh, we, you know, before the last election, the uh, the community and the police were crying out for uh, a uh, new uh, airborne assets, and uh, we made that commitment of uh, two uh, new police helicopters uh, over the next four years. We've delivered that early, and uh, obviously, this is part of ensuring that uh, whether it be from iPads to iPhones to robotic uh, uh, forensic crash units to uh, Zebedee uh, scanners uh, working with CSIRO to have the most advanced uh, scientific units now, not just in Australia but around the world, as well as this also adds to the uh, capacity of these uh, two new uh, police helicopters and ensuring that We've not just been able to be seeing these helicopters in the sky, but giving peace of mind to the community that uh, police certainly have the resources to keep fighting crime down and keeping our streets safe. Erin, you got a question for the Commissioner? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, thanks, Erin. Uh, as you know, at the Gold Coast we have uh, about eight, and it will be the same here. The only thing uh, different will be uh, initially we're going to rotate a lot more officers through 
Uh, so that will mean more training time, but we think that ultimately that will be to the, to the benefit of, of both our officers and the community uh, to have officers trained and, and available, which is one of the critical issues, to operate in a 24-7 mode. Uh, and I want to uh, certainly give confidence to the community. This isn't about budgets, it's about the safety and security of the community. Uh, we'll, we will fund whatever is necessary to keep that chopper in the air as long as it's necessary to do the jobs that we know are necessary uh, to uh, fight crime but also actually keep the community safer. One of the areas, uh, one of the reasons why the government's been so good in providing the helicopter is to help us in the area of high-speed high pursuits. Uh, you know that um, we are very, very restrictive in our policies in that regard. The helicopter gives us another tool to be able to successfully and more safely conclude those types of uh, incidents. Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, we'll only ever be limited by the range of the chopper. As many of you know, Polair won help with the Bundaberg floods um, almost 18 months ago now. So wherever the need is, in Queensland obviously, uh, and within the capabilities of the aircraft, we'll be deployed. Can you see a third Polair 3 coming soon? Look, I think I mentioned earlier, I'd love to see a greater partnership with uh, particularly Surf Life Saving uh, Queensland because uh, of the synergies our organisations have. Uh, but again, that'll be up to me persuading government of the need for the organisation. Uh, it's not a bottomless pit out there. Um, we know that, so we've got to really be uh, very direct and focused on what we need for our people to do their job better. Oh, look, uh, I certainly understand the, the issues around how long it's taken us to get helicopters and I'm grateful that the government has, has done that for us and hopefully in the future we may see a few more. I think you've got to look at the size of this state though and uh, the fact that we invested very heavily in fixed wing aircraft to move officers uh, generally uh, to hot spots and to also uh, simply move them around the state. That was the need at the time. We've now got... And uh, we're, again, as I said, we're very grateful that the government's taken this step. We're very grateful to our partners in Surf Life Saving Queensland. Thank you. Just, just another comment here, and uh, obviously uh, is, uh, the police union as well, is I'd like to, uh, to thank and compliment uh, Ian Levers and the, uh, the police union for their advocacy and their hard work over, over the last 10 years in trying to, uh, to get a, a police helicopter into the skies and uh, their commitment and their championing also went a long way to ensure that uh, we made that commitment at the last election for uh, two new police helicopters in the skies over Queensland. So we'll continue to work with the police, with the police union, to ensure that we keep delivering for the safety and benefit of the communities and safer streets right around Queensland.